I think uh, we are very grateful for this partnership uh, and I was just uh, saying that uh, the financing part, the resource, is something that without which we couldn't do much. So uh, when these people are evacuated from Libya, where they are going through tremendous trauma, they arrive here in Rwanda that have given the space for them to find uh, security first, uh, to uh, be able to uh, be assessed and see how we can find a durable solution for them. I think it's a, it's a very great uh, step that we have achieved. So, uh, so far we have managed to have about a thousand that have transited here and found a durable solution in another third country. So we are very uh, grateful for that. This additional funding actually helps us to pursue what we are doing because uh, we have been working with uh, the, the European Union for the past, uh, uh, since the beginning, actually since 2019, and this funding needed to be renewed. That's what has happened. We've, we've got an additional tranche of 22 million euro that can cover our activities for the next four years. So I think without this, we, were not, we would not have been able to extend what we have been doing so far. So that's what we are doing, and we're going to reinforce uh, uh, and improve the infrastructure structures that we have and also extend the services to the comers that come from Libya but also uh, that can help us also to advocate more uh, for uh, finding a durable solution for them in a third country. I mean the needs are, are immense and uh, I also think that this is a very significant support. It really is a, an expression of, the, of, of our commitment to support these initiatives and we will continue assessing the needs and seeing how best we can be part of the solution. The colleagues were saying, um, they, they, the people who stay in here, they were detained in, in Libya. They often spent two years, three years, very long periods of time in detention centers in Libya. They registered with UNHCR as refugee and then UNHCR channeled their demands and channeled and them through the, the, the camp here. While they are here, the intention is to find a durable solution for them. Uh, some of the European Union member states, like Finland, Sweden, France, Belgium, have been hosting them and allowing them to be resettled to Europe. And in the time of the wait, while they are here waiting, um, the camp unit offers them a support uh, to develop skills on a number of issues that will uh, make them develop future lives ahead when they come out from here. That it was being, I mean, that hundreds and thousands of refugees found in Libya and they found themselves trapped in a situation they were not expecting. I mean, you talk to the people, they tell you, we left Sudan, we were hoping to reach Europe, we found ourselves trapped in Libya, we found ourselves in pursuit, found in detention centers, aggressed by police. They spend their two years without freedoms, and and uh, and I think that yes, to to be working and supporting some of the African solutions to that situation, it's something that we are proud of. Yeah.